Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today we'll be talking about uh, the consistent system of equations or the inconsistent system of equations. I have started a new series in which I'm talking about the consistency. So today we'll be talking about certain questions of the homogeneous and the non-homogeneous type. So the question remains the same, uh, test for the consistency. and solve the systems. So let me consider the first part where the system of equations is given by 3x plus 26y plus 2z is equal to 9. 7x plus 2y plus 10z is equal to 5. So, here uh, as you could see, the rank of A is 3, N is 3, there are 3 unknowns, so I can rewrite this as AX is equal to B, where uh, A is uh, the coefficient matrix, so let me just write it quickly, X is the column vector of the unknowns. And the B is the BIs, that is 4, 9, 5. Again, a column vector. Now, uh, consider, well, okay, let me just uh, write it on the another page. So, you can just refer to this. This is 3 cross 3, 3 cross 1, and this is also 3 cross 1. So, to find out the solution, uh, let me just uh, find the augmented matrix C. So, that is... Given by the A matrix first, I'm rough writing the B is given by uh, four, nine, and five. So, uh, now what are the steps again? You need to make these zero. So, first of all, considering the uh, elementary row operation. So, either you can make the first row 1 to make it more simpler. So, 1, 3 upon 5, 7 upon 5, 4 upon 5. So, the other rows would be same right now. Now, the elementary row operation would be row 2 minus 3 times of row 1, row 3, minus 7 times of row 1. So, these become 0. And let us find out the other elements of these rows. First row remain the same. No change. Now, uh, we have uh, 26. So, 26 minus 3 times of 3 by 5. So that's 26 minus 9 upon 5. So after calculating this, I am getting the value as 121 by 5. This is 2 minus, so 2 minus uh, 21 upon 5. So I am getting here minus 11 upon 5. Lastly, this is 9 minus 3 times 4 upon 5. So, so I am getting uh, 45 minus 12, that is 33 upon 5. Now, for the last row, R3 is R3 minus 7 times of row, uh, row 1. So, 7 minus 7 is 0. So, 2 minus 7 times 3 by 5. So, I am getting here minus 11 upon 5. This is uh, 10 minus so, that's again uh, 1 upon 5. Lastly, uh, 5 minus 7 times 4 upon 5. So that's minus 3 upon 5. So you will notice here that these uh, two rows, they are multiples of each other, right? So uh, I think we'll be getting zeros. So let us see. Um, the next elementary row operation, I need to make uh, this 0. So, 
so to make this zero i'll be taking the elementary row operation r3 plus uh, 1 upon 11 times r2 so i'll get here 1 3 upon 5 zero. so first two rows are the same uh, no need to worry here and the last row this is 0, this becomes 0, 1 upon 5, uh, minus 1 upon 5, 0 and 0. I told you that this is just a multiple, you will be getting all the zeros. Now, what is happening here? We know that the rank of A is 3, okay? But uh, here, I am getting the rank of uh, C. Here, the rank of C is Two, right and uh, the rank of three uh, rank of a uh, okay so let me just check whether it is a three because here i can see that it is just a multiple so there would be that the rank of a would be two so how we could check that uh, we could refer to it uh, using the uh, determinant value as well so when we find out the determinant of a Okay, uh, let me just clear this one. Okay, so the determinant of A would be uh, 5 uh, times. I hope everybody remembers how to calculate uh, the determinant value. So, so this is 5 times 260 minus 4. This is 30 minus 14. Um, okay. So this is, uh, let us quickly calculate this. And uh, we'll be getting this as uh, 260 minus 4 is uh, 256. And uh, multiplied by 5, I'll just write the value quickly. So that would be 1280. And uh, 30 minus 14 is uh, 16. So multiplied by 3, again, I'm getting uh, 48. So this would be just 48. And uh, I'll be getting a negative value here because this is 182 minus 6. Uh, and multiplied by 7. So that's minus 1232. So when you will add these two, Okay, because these are uh, minus. So, I'll be getting uh, the same value that is 1280. So, this is coming out to be 0. So, because the determinant value is 0, so the rank of A is not equal to 3. Okay, so it would be uh, less than 3. So, that is uh, the rank of A is equal to 2. Now, uh, now here rank of C is 2, rank of A is also 2, so, but N is equal to 3. So, what we are getting, so, rank A is equal to rank of C, which is less than N, which is equal to 3. So, as uh, we have this condition. So, the system is consistent and has infinite number of solutions. Now, uh, the infinite number of solutions, how we could find that? Uh, first, write uh, the system, this again in the matrix form quickly. So, I'll get this as uh, 1. 3 upon 5, 7 upon 5, 0, 1, 2, 1, 0, 0, this is uh, minus 11 upon 5, this is my A, X, and B. So when can we expect a uh, infinite number of solutions? I'll give you a hint, when all 
uh, in the last row, this element is also zero, then for sure you are having an infinite solution. If you will be having a number here, then you would uh, get a no solution that we had in the previous question that I have taken in the lecture because there uh, it was having a number. So it would be uh, that uh, the system is inconsistent. So now in this, I'll uh, when I form the equations here, I can get uh, x plus 3 upon 5z. I'm oh, sorry, this is y plus 7 upon 5z is equal to 4 upon 5, 121y upon 5 minus 11 upon 5z is equal to 33 upon 5, right? So what we can do, can't find any uh, equation for the last one. So we put um, z is equal to some k, so that's important. So in this equation, so what we'll be getting here, uh, so when you substitute in this, I'll number it 1 and 2. So 2 would give you um, 121. Uh, so we have a 5 that will just eradicate 33. So this becomes uh, that y is equal to mm, um, 33 um, plus 11 times k upon 1 to 1, 1 to 1. So this is 3 upon 11 plus k upon 11, okay? And the first equation I'll be uh, take as, it would be 5x. So this is 4 minus 7 upon 5k. Okay, z uh, minus 3 upon 5, y is uh, 3 upon 11, k upon 11. Okay, we need to solve this. So this is 4 minus 7 upon 5k. This is minus 9 upon, uh, sorry, um, just just a mistake. The, I have taken the, the so this is minus 9 upon 11. Uh, this is minus 3k upon 11. So when you will solve this, uh, we could get the values as uh, 5x is equal to uh, 4 minus uh, 9 upon 11. That would be 44 minus uh, 9 upon 11. All right. So uh, you can just uh, rectify this. 35 upon 11. And uh, this would be minus 7k minus, so minus 77 and minus 3 is minus 80, so minus 80k upon 11. So x would be uh, dividing the whole. So this is coming out to be. So this is what I'm getting. So thus the solution is given by my x is 7 upon 11, y is uh, 3 upon 11 plus k upon 11, and z is k. So this is my solution in the end. So this is how you can find the solution uh, when we have the infinite number of solutions. So uh, next, I'll be taking one homogeneous example quickly, uh, in which uh, homogeneous means that the bi's are uh, zero. So consider uh, the system of equations. This is very easy to calculate. This is 7x plus 10y plus 12z is equal to zero. So I can rewrite this as uh, ax is equal to 0, right? Because bi's are all 0, as you could notice. So this is uh, 1, 3, 7, 2, 4, 10, 3, 4, 12. Now, if you could remember, uh, in the homogeneous case, I have explained that the rank of C is almost equal to the rank of A. 
so we will not be considering the augmented matrix uh, we will be considering the matrix a only and we will be doing the elementary row operations on the matrix a and whatever would be the rank of a uh, we will check with the number of unknowns and we would figure out uh, whether it has a trivial solution or a non-trivial solution so um here uh, we know here n is 3 three unknowns are given to us so this is 3 cross 3 3 cross 1 3 cross 1 so consider a consider the mat coefficient matrix a here and we'll perform the elementary row operations on this so very easy we have done it multiple times so uh, the first elementary row operation would be uh, row 2 goes to minus 3 times of row 1 row 3 goes to row 3 minus 7 times of row 1 so i'll get here the first row as it is so 4 minus uh, 12 is uh, minus 8 so 4 minus uh, 9 is minus 5 then uh, then you'll take it for the 7 so 10 minus uh, 14 is minus 4 and uh, 12 um, we have so this would be minus uh, 21 so uh, let me just uh, write it so that I don't make any mistake so 3 minus 3 is 0 so 4 minus uh, 4 minus 3 2 are 6 let me do it again okay so we have 4 minus twice uh, 3 times of 2. So that's 4 minus 6. That's minus 2. Then uh, 4 minus um, 9. So that's minus 5. Okay, so this is done. Now this is 10. So uh, 10 minus 7 times uh, the this element 2. So 10 minus 14. That's minus 4. So 12 minus... 21 so that's minus 9 so let me just erase this okay after this uh, when we have done this uh, what we need to do first of all we, we have to make this 0 so I have make them 0 now I have to make this 0 right so how could I make this 0 let me uh, consider the another uh, row operation I think this is not a multiple. Yeah, that, that's not a multiple. So I'll be uh, taking this as uh, row 3 plus uh, twice of row 2. So this would be uh, not plus. This would be minus. Okay. So the elementary row operation, you need to just check with the all the 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Zero zero minus two minus five, and I was getting here minus four, and this was minus nine. Okay, I'll erase that uh, because I'll be because you'll see minus four, minus two, uh, minus two. So I'll get minus four plus four. So this becomes zero, right? Because I don't make any mistake, that's why I've written it like this: minus nine minus twice of minus five. So that's a, a 1. So this becomes 1. Okay. Now, uh, what can you observe here? So after this, the rank of A is coming out to be 3, which is equal to the number of unknowns. Right? So thus, uh, I have done about the what is the working rule for the homogeneous equations. It is always consistent. Homogeneous equations are always consistent. So thus, the system of equations are consistent. The system is consistent. And uh, now the uh, point that we need to check is whether it has a non-trivial solution or a trivial solution. So the system is consistent and has a trivial solution because it the rank is equal to the number of unknowns. So that is your x, y, and z. They all are equal to 0. Or we can also write this in this form that capital X is this.
So this is how we can find out the solution of a homogeneous system of equations. Thank you.